way we see it is hip hop or the game is like a house. And when you first come into the house, the first room is the all blossom room of acceptance. If you put in that work, you really get there. Now everybody show you a lot of love, but you're supposed to move from that room to the next room. Why? Because somebody else is gonna come in the house and it's their time to get in the room. So as long as you respect the house, you'll always have a place. When you keep trying to go back into the room, you're crowding it up. You're not, you're not doing the room, the house justice. You're being greedy. So one thing about us is we've always had that mind frame. It's all about yesterday, today, and tomorrow. I'm um, taking the back, come follow me. On a journey to see a for real MC. The mind tricks the body, body thinks the mind is crazy. Whatever's lazy, when I get the flow, I'm swayzy. I break, you take. Whatever type of shit the naked buckshot make. The incredible, lyrical, and original. You can kill a bull if you want to take a pull. We had a period where we just went hard, hard, grinding hard, 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 hard. You know what I'm saying? We was in parks, doing shows, in the parks department. We was doing uh, college radio. Just, and, we, and when we got to college, it was like, we, we was made to the big top. For us, you know, it was like we got real microphones. And, you know what I'm saying? Like we're 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 at, we're, we're at college radio, like maybe commercial to us just meant just meant to sell yourself short. That's all commercial meant. Some guy would say, "Hey, I have a radio show and I like your style, but I want you to put on a pink wig, a purple nose, and an orange suit." You wave your hands around and I'll make you big. We, we went to a lot of labels, we went to a lot of places, and they said that the vibe was if you could curb your style to be like this, maybe we give you a shot. So we'd always say, nah, man, this is who we are, this is what we do. And, 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 and we stuck to that. And when we finally made it with that, that was always our thing. You know what? There's a lot of other people that we found out that feel the same way we feel. We didn't really know that. That wasn't a thing. We wasn't doing it just because of that. We did it because it was true to us. Then we found out the rest of the world does feel that way. And that's what made it a movement. Because the rest of the world felt it organically. Rest in peace to my niggas in the east. And all the real niggas that were shot by beats around the way. All we do is spark mindism. Niggas been like, yo, these books shot right here. That is him. But let's get with the cypher kick past the eight. So I can wet my lungs and blow smoke in your face. Working job. Niggas can't touch me, kid. Cause I'm too nice to do big to ever hit stand. Front six. I was producing the rip, one of the, the introductions to this rip once out to the Health Scout album. Okay. And I got a call in the studio. I was like, yo. Two on the phone, you want know, to talk to you or take a steal. And I was like, what? He's like, two on the phone, you want to talk to either Buckshot or take a steal. I was like, bullshit. Like, like, yo, who's playing around, yo? So I go back to the phone. I'm like, yo, who, who, hello? Like, yo, what's good, man? It's Pop. I'm like, what? Yo, who is this, man? It was two pop, yo. You know that? I'm like, oh shit. Like, yo, like, yo, this is something. I'm like, Oh shit, like, you're like, yo, I want y'all to come out, what's good, buff, what's good? And I'm like, hey son, like, oh shit, he's like, yo, I want y'all to come out. He said, what y'all doing, what y'all doing two days from now? Yeah. <laughs> he said, I want y'all to come out here and do an album with me. I'm sitting here with Greg Max right now. What recipe if I'm sitting here with Greg Max right now, we eating chicken. And I was laughing, and he said, you fly out. And I said, we there. He said, I'm going to send tickets for you. That Monday, we was on a plane going to L.A. That's the, that's the footage that they show of when we got off the, off the plane. Pop didn't send his rules. Pop didn't send his label people. Pop and the outlaws came to give us and they went. And that's what you see with music. So and we lived in his house. So they go to the studio and I'm like this. I'm glad that they released a lot of footage from the Tupac. I'm talking about more footage than the one everybody kept seeing. Like now you see us coming out the limo. Tupac is like, fuck for the love it. Just leave that shit in the car, you know? But we go right in the studio. Like, Tupac linked up with us through, because Smith and Weston had sent him, uh, hold, hold your head up, shots out. You know what I'm saying? Um, Pop felt like Nick, New York people wasn't really fucking with him. And technically still, 
I was like, yo, they, they, you know what I mean? They, they have fuck with me. So he said, when I get out, I want to fuck with the dudes that fuck with me. Right. So as soon as he came home, as soon as he got out, as soon as he got to Cali, all that shit happened when he came home. After the all eyes, he was fresh off of all eyes on me. Everything was still rolling. And he said, now I want to do my project. You know what I'm saying? Um, One Nation album. Um, and that was going to have all of us on it. So I'm going to call up. Everybody from a state is gonna be like the 50 states. I'm like the president. Like I'm gonna be the individual that put it all together. So you got New York, Texas, the LA. You know, it, you know, we had the loonies on there. I, nobody even know the loonies was on there. Uh, that made their record. I got five. We had uh, uh, Bone Thugs and Harmony on there. Uh, so there's a few people on that album that we was all gonna be one movement. I mean, it was gonna look, it was gonna be crazy. Mm -hmm. and if you think about the power that Pac had at that time, sure. just imagine if his next movement was everybody coming at one niche. Yeah. Something. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Doing at this stage, I learned a lot about production. Like, I've done a lot of work at home. And that was like my, yo, know, I'm in the studio now, I experiment, and, you know, try to find my sound. And it's funny because doing it to the stage taught me about uh, bringing out what I feel. You know what I'm saying? Sure. As a producer, we came with the hard beats and the bass lines, you know, the dirty sack of that time, the dirty sound. Of course. And it was crazy, you know what I'm saying? Sure. So it molded me into the producer that I am today. The music, the change of the music, change of the level of the music, change of the tone of the music, it was from the music. That excited me. I see that, I know exactly like what that was going to be from. I felt it. You know, sometimes before you do it so long, you just know. You just know. I could listen to somebody else and be like, you know what, that's going to be a city. You're going to push this first. But you're just going to get pushed in love. You're going like this one. You're just going to do it. You're 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 going to do it. For me personally, finding the flow. The finding the flow was that was the, the moment the light came on for me. Because who got the props was the signal. And who got the props was made with the format of learning what a structural bar is. Put up, what a bo bo bo, something on the flow, but they got no show. Like, I, I learned, but then when E would come on piece and enter the stage, and I started learning how to follow those flows, I was being turned on to a whole different flow. Like, wow, this goes this way, that way, this way. And for me, it never was the same after that. Sure. You know what I'm saying? You know I got to keep my backpack on because I put the bullshit in the back yeah. of the going. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I live to this shit. I live to this shit. This is hip hop. Talk. And this is what I give to this shit. From the what? bottom to the top. What? From the top to the bottom. What? Once you get booked, shot that mic, I got him! Ah. Here we go, y'all! Put up, put up, bo, bo, bo. Suckers wanna flow, but they got no 